Grams. Hello, I'm Grams. Are you ready to have some fun and read? Awesome. Okay, go ahead and get comfortable in your favorite spot, and let's see what we're going to read today. Today we're reading The Sock Thief, a soccer story, written by Anna Crespo, and pictures by Nana Gonzalez. Today in our book, The Sock Thief, a soccer story, Felipe loves soccer, but doesn't own a soccer ball. On his way to school, he comes up with a solution. Let's see what happens. In a small Brazilian town, Felipe leaves home earlier than usual. He walks a long way to school. <sighs> Still sleepy, he stops by his family's mango tree. He picks the pinkest mangoes he sees. The sweet fruit wakes him up. Felipe has a secret. Once a week, he needs socks. He would use his own socks if he had any, but he doesn't. Why own socks if the only shoes he owns is a pair of worn-out flip-flops? Felipe sees a pair of socks on the windowsill of an old house. He seizes the socks and leaves a mango on the front steps. And he wakes up a dog. The dog woofs in Portuguese. Felipe runs away as fast as he can. Panting, Felipe stops running, pulls an old newspaper from his bag, and starts working. He stuffs, he twists, he tightens. He stuffs, twists, and tightens again. Soon Felipe is searching for more socks. There is a pair hanging from a clothesline. He snatches the socks and leaves a mango. Then a rooster threatens to tell his secret to the entire neighborhood. It screams in Portuguese. Again, Felipe is on the run. He stops only when the rooster is far behind him and the cocorico is just a whisper. He stuffs, twists, and tightens once, then twice, three times, four times. As Felipe gets closer to his school, he's not sure he will get all the socks he needs. But just when he thinks there are no more socks to be found, Felipe spies some. This pair of very large socks rests on a fence next to a parrot. Felipe swipes the socks and leaves a mango. He is safe until a loud voice behind him says, Obrigado, obrigado, obrigado. The parrot is thanking him very loudly in Portuguese and once again Felipe runs away. Felipe stuffs, twists, and tightens once and twice. He gives it a few stitches. Finally, he is ready for school. At the sight of Felipe, his friends run to him and ask, did you bring the soccer ball? Here it is, Felipe answers. They play soccer before school. They play soccer during recess. They play soccer after school. The newspaper stuffed sock ball survives the muddy field and every hard hit. It survives defenses, disputes, and goals. It even survives the puppy that wants to play too. After school, on his long journey back home, Felipe returns each pair of socks. Next to them, he leaves a note. Obrigado peles mias. Thank you for the socks. He hopes the owners of the socks don't mind that he borrowed them for the day. But what Felipe doesn't realize is that everyone knows his secret and everyone is happy to help. And to eat the mangoes. What a creative way to solve his problem. And thoughtful of Felipe to leave the mangoes. I love watching soccer, or football as it's known around the world. What about you? I think I'll go outside and kick the ball around now. Thanks for spending time with me today. 
If you liked this video and want to see more, please ask your parents to click the subscribe button. I'll post a new video every Thursday. Until next time, be kind and keep reading.